Properties of Air Pollutant, Part 1 Oxides of Nitrogen These are different type of nitrogen-based gases called nitric oxide, nitrous oxide, or nitrogen dioxide. And it is a combination of such gases which can be seen in reddish-brown colored, and these are called very harmful and toxic or poisonous gases. If their concentrations too high like sulfur dioxide, the smell can be felt. Like, sulfur dioxide, nitrous oxide also become a source of secondary pollutants, and then somehow cause acid rain. And how are acid rain produced, as sulfur dioxide with sulfuric acid produce an acid, and with the existence of nitrogen in the air. Nitric acid begins to form, with the formation of nitric acid, water is covered into acid, and this is called acid rain. Chlorofluorocarbon is a combination of chlorine, fluorine, and carbon. Chlorofluorocarbons are not a hazardous gases as they can cause fires. These gases are colorless gases. Like carbon monoxide, as we have already read about them. While sulfur dioxide and nitrous oxides are such gases, they become occur when they are high in its concentration. These gases are used in them, include aerosols, any types of spray, paint or pesticide spray that you use at home. And moreover where are these gases used, yes. You know that chlorofluorocarbon is used in the refrigerator. Do they have any color? They have no color, nor do they are flame able. An important properties of chlorofluorocarbon is that it produces a cooling effect and causes cooling. Therefore, these gases are used in your refrigerators, air conditioners, and fridges. And these gases can also reduce the amount of ozone, which is one of the important properties of these air pollutants. Chlorine is such a gas in the chlorofluorocarbon that result with ozone, which convert atomic oxygen to molecular oxygen. Particulate matter It is particles that are in solid form which are also found in this liquid form, which later becomes very fine particle shape. And mostly these are in suspended form in the air it means that cannot be estimated of its presence in the air. For example, if the vehicle is at high speed, it creates dust in the air which is the source of the particles matter that can be found in every small form. Similarly, where the execution works so the substance of these particles are also found in this place. And they are very harmful to human health. Let's see what the next pollutant is and what are its properties. Lead is also a toxic matter that is very harmful to the internal parts of human body, skin, and health. And what does it appearance like? It is a metallic part that is present in the form of particles in the air in grey color. It can destroy internal anataxis and the esophagus of human. Now we have need about air pollutants. And now we do classroom activities that help to make it more clear, and which will further increase our knowledge about air pollutants and its harmful effects upon human beings and their internal organ system.